Hello everybody, welcome on Crypto Casing TV. Thanks for watching at first sound check. Sorry for the last video. I had put my microphone, the internet microphone of my MacBook on, but this time I have this cutie one on my shirt. So let's start with the prices. Bitcoin for today, the 9th, right? We have the 9th? No, we have the 10th of January. Times is really flying fast. We have the 10th of January 2019. And for one, per once, Bitcoin, $3,670. Let's see something. Is there something rising up? Oh, we have some, some coins, but not special coins which are rising up. Coin market cap is 122 billion US dollars. So let's continue. We got some news for the last few hours. Russia may put 10 billion into Bitcoin in Q1 2019. I would I would say Russia just put more than 10 billion just in Bitcoin, but without the news that we know. And I think it's not news for everybody that Russia is involved in blockchain technologies a lot. So for Q1 2019, 10 billion, I think it's maybe for the bank, it should be the standard Russian central bank, right? Which is gonna put 10 billion and the worth amount of the bank is 466, not, not I, I don't know it's much or not. Russian economist Vladislav Ginko has said that the expects the Russian government to invest at least 10 billion from its national reserves into Bitcoin in the first quarter 2019. The investment he believes will help alleviate some of the damage from US sanctions. Ah, all the sanctions and all the politics between Russia and America. What's going on there? Big heads all had again big heads. US sanctions may be mitigated only through Bitcoin use because of US sanctions Russia elite is forced to dump US assets and US dollars and invest hugely into Bitcoin. The central bank Russia sits on 466 billion of reserves. By the way 466 billion it's 466 with nine zeros. We in Europe or in, especially in Germany We in Europe, or especially in Germany, talking about 466 milliard, milliard, 466 milliard, what the German guys say. The decision is a direct on the level of the reverse Bitcoin, maybe sound plan. Okay, we have no goal of moving away from the dollar. It's the dollar that's moving away from us. Well, those making such decisions are not shooting themselves in the foot, but some were more delicate further up the body well we don't know who is moving from whom but we hope that this 10 billions not not we hope we know that, that this 10 billions will help blockchain technologies and cryptocurrencies not a lot but them they will help russia waiting a little further into crypto whatever else does it mean like other major nations such as the US and China's Russia has taken a somewhat cautious approach to cryptocurrencies imposed some restrictions while examining its potential. While Ginkgo has appeared, by the way, who is Ginkgo? Head of the Russian Central Bank or what? Let's check for his. I sitting here in Moscow. This thing I choose Russ Billions for trigger. What's the legal situation? Well, who is he? Somebody who works. Somebody with a big head in the bank and lots of money in the pocket, I should say. Okay, well, good news. If I put Bitcoin on Google for today, and as the time is went down, I don't see any bad reactions or any bad news coming up from the market Bitcoin keep not on for easy push type well done all the same dark overhead for 
Uh, for the Bitcoin we get of Steam English Pet, okay. Understanding it's about uh, in France they're starting to sell bitcoins in some in stores where you can buy some cigarettes or tabac. Okay, not so interesting. And the next one is also very interesting news which is connected to the store to the stocks platform bucked and one of the richest men worldwide who put bitcoin who, who invested in bitcoin or in back let's let's read bitcoin has its fair share of bakers and this tractors but it's not every day one of the world's richest people in this case hong kong billionaire lika shink let's check for him oh he's really very old Nickman Superman Li Kaxing is revered as one of the most influential businessmen in Asia. Li announced in March plans to retire as chairman of CK Hutchison Holdings. Well, 90 years old, I don't think that he is understanding something in blockchain technologies, but maybe, maybe not, I don't know. 90 years, well, I, my grandma will for sure nothing understand about blockchain technologies but it looks like, like he's a very active guy if he's so rich so invested in the upcoming bitcoin and cryptocurrency platform back through his venture capital firm horizon venture sounds good big announced it had raised 182 million in its series a funding round last week in a blog post with horizon ventures fronting a portion of that so we know that BAT is a big stocks market exchange and they are right now proof the license for accepting cryptocurrencies and if it will be it should be accepted by the middle of this month as I know and if it will be accepted I think we gonna not much but a little push and see how the market is rising but as i said before for this year i'm i don't expect a big rise for a cryptocurrency market round about maybe up to 250 billion us dollars not more that's what i expect bitcoin and cryptocurrency investors who have weltered the so-called crypto winter have been somewhat cheered by a positive start to 2019 with many eagerly looking forward to measure global stocks and change offering bidding futures contracts and the highly anticipated back bitcoin platform everybody's waiting for back platform okay the back platform bitcoin platform which is being developed with usa stocks exchange over intercontinental exchange as well as partnership with coffee chain starbucks and pc giant microsoft well now we know also that microsoft is involved in some blockchain projects and investing in them later this year that will allow people to buy sell store and spend cryptocurrencies through microsoft cloud while starbucks sounds good spam scripture is microsoft clouds microsoft's cloud well sounds nice while starbucks will let them convent bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in us dollars to make purchases that means we will on all devices, on all Microsoft devices, buying, sell, and send cryptocurrency sounds very nice, and it should come this year. Okay, and that means that means also for it should mean that Starbucks should accept Bitcoin for their coffee which they sell. This is not our least first foray into the world of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Leo is worth about thirty-five billion. Wow, cool, please. I will say, if you, Lee, looking so good with this smile, would invest 35 billion on blockchain, everybody, included of me, will be very thankful to you. 
Invested in Bitcoin payments processor BitPay back in 2013 and blockchain technologies provider Blockstream in 2016 through Horizon Ventures. Lee was joined last year by British billionaire and founder of Virgin. Sir Richard Branson, who was one of a number of investors who put 30 million into BitPay. Ah, uh, BitPay. Is this a platform I used for exchanging? Or what? Let me see. Welcome to the future of payments. Okay, this is on. It's a Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies payment. Ah, this is, I know, this is middle of the man. For accepting cryptocurrencies, you can install them on your for example web store or in store to accepting some cryptocurrencies like bitcoin cash or bitcoin or the another ethereum whatever else okay let's continue the bitcoin price has struggled in recent months falling throughout 2018 as investors struggled with a hangover from Bitcoin's epic bull run in 2017, which sent the price from under 1,000 at the beginning of the year and almost 20,000 under 12 months. That's right. By the way, I'm sitting yesterday with a friend and talking about all this stuff. He's asking me, do you still, uh, like everybody, do you still believe or do you believe or do you really believe that Bitcoin will go to 500,000 or to 100,000, it's never mind, I believe it, but it's just a question of the time. Many Bitcoin investors and traders are looking toward things like a US Bitcoin exchange traded fund ETF to boost the price through those expectations have been somewhat dependent lately as the US Securities and Exchange Commission frets over potential price manipulation. And so, oh, what's about the Winkleforce brothers? Well, Facebook founding fame who have now re returned to Bitcoin cryptocurrency found their own exchange took to social network where to talk to, of the US regulator approving a Bitcoin ETF later this year. Will be nice. By the way, I don't want that Bitcoin will go up for next half year that will be really nice because we need i also want to invest i'm waiting for some fiat currency that i want to invest in in bitcoin not in bitcoin but in blockchain and another cryptocurrencies which i hold all about which exactly i hold and what i do what i trade what i mine etc maybe a video later for that so let's go to you. I'm a journalist with significant experience covering technology, finance, economics, and business around the world. As the founding editor of Verdict CO UK, I report on how technology is changing business, political trends, and the latest culture. Okay, that's out. So two interesting informations that one of the richest guys is belief in cryptocurrency and blockchain and investing i think that tells a lot and i think we're still as every time i say on a good way so thank you for watching it's all for today just wanted to share with you with those two news which i think is very interesting and just to say hello and wish you to all of you, Happy New Year. All the best for you. As I ever say in cryptocurrency, we trust. Enjoy, smile more. Cheers.